awakening with brahma kumaris namaskar and a very very warm welcome to awakening with brahma kumaris namaskar oh shanti welcome uh, sister shivani thank you so much i've been thinking since yesterday about mind 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 the moment i try to see where it is it vanishes and as you say that uh, about awareness of thoughts when i go to my thoughts and wanted to be aware of it the thoughts stop the moment i am somewhere else the start there there was it's become a hide and seek so i just wanted you to tell us a little about the mind where it is what it is how to control it through meditation and or uh, day to day life for the for the students and for uh, everybody in practical life there was a uh... a story that i read a few days back a disciple goes to his guru and he says uh, give me one word so that i can just achieve what you have achieved so the guru says awareness awareness so the disciple writes that word quickly on a piece of paper and he runs that i'm going to do this now and then he goes halfway and he says what am i supposed to do but so he comes back and he says Uh, what does it mean awareness so the guru says awareness means awareness he said acha okay theek and he runs again and then again after some time he comes back and he says but what does it mean what am i supposed to do so the guru says awareness means awareness means awareness, awareness. then <laughs> which means don't think what am i supposed to do how am i supposed to do it don't use too much logic what is awareness awareness just means be aware just watch we are aware of everything that's happening in the world we are aware of what's happening under the ocean we are aware of what's happening on the moon we are aware of what's happening on other planets we are aware of what's happening in the neighbor's house we are aware of what's happening everywhere because it's, it's considered very important shivani didi absolutely when people say oh he knows everything he knows about uh, uh, sports what's happening in us what's happening in russia what's happening in school and he knows more more uh, much more than uh, the the neighbors uh, house he knows everything so I mean, what does it mean just to know na huh. just awareness means just to know what's happening that's all now awareness means just to know what's happening within me nothing within no that's again Or very within. complicated no again you know when Let's you say look within look within it's very complicated people say what do you mean look within where what what are we supposed to do look within means just look at the thoughts that i create taking a walk early in the morning instead of just being looking out who's walking who's wearing what who's listening to music who's talking about what what's happened in the newspaper just look what am i thinking what am i thinking what am i thinking talk to myself yeah just stop any minute you can practice this the whole day just stop impromptu suddenly People stop say, this guy is gone mad talking to himself you won't come to know when i'm talking to myself it's you don't use this to talk to yourself you just stop what am i thinking Yeah, but the moment I stop, what am I thinking? The thinking stops, and again, some thought takes me away for hours together. Again, I come back. What am I thinking? Be- why I need to do this now? Because I haven't done it since a very long time. Okay. Once I do it regularly, I won't need to stop and say, "What am I thinking?" I will always be aware of what I'm thinking. Mm. You know let's say today's not been a very nice day at work so I come back I'm sitting with the paper the TV's on but my mind is working it's just not engaged in any of the media it's working this shouldn't have happened this is not the way the things should have gone today this is not the way they should have spoken to me I've been working so hard I just don't get recognized for all that's happened who's thinking all this me I'm thinking that's all this is awareness that this is what I am thinking second awareness is this the right kind of thinking for me hmm and third awareness can i change it that's all okay one if i am thinking and what will happen if i am not thinking i have to think something no yeah there will never ever be a stage yeah. when we're not thinking either some some kind of song goes around some kind of jingle goes on or some kind of uh, somebody said something it goes on and on 
but this guy is all the time on yeah. so you mean to say one has to switch switch it over to something else to give feed a, uh, something else or give it a different toy it's like yeah it's like water it's flowing constantly you can't stop it but you can always channelize it okay don't have to flow this side i have to flow this side so you mm. just change the direction of the water give it a new direction to flow in another way so you don't stop thinking a lot of people feel meditation means stop thinking so they will concentrate on a point of light and say no thoughts no thoughts no thoughts i don't have to think is also a thought oh and so much of pressure so much of pressure okay stop thinking stop thinking again it is come again it's come and it can stop. never happen the mind can never stop thinking we're trying to do something which is not natural and that's why then they will say i'm feeling very heavy here there's too much of pressure here because i've tried to suppress something it's not natural and i just create one thought i'm not to think i'm not to think i have to meditate i'm not to think that's a thought and of what use is this thought i'm not to think so it's much of pressure noise. so much of pressure are you going to relax or are you going to get up tired exactly so and disappointed my, yeah. because i haven't been able to achieve it yeah. because i was trying to do something and they'll come and say oh teacher my head is aching because I try to stop thinking and it still goes on thinking he'll say take it easy it'll you'll learn one day you'll learn one day and the poor child will end up dep- into depression and most of the people today then say oh we've tried meditation we can't do it nahi hota hai difficult yeah because there's so much going on in the mind and then it's like a car which is in the fifth gear and you suddenly want to bring it down to neutral and you just try and do it in like one go and it's not going to happen and gets a jerk shall we go a little back sister i would ask you okay you said sir, be aware okay awareness i start awareness and then what happens i just honestly want to know what happens practically hmm. practically first is knowledge yeah i'll get i'm uh, now i'm aware that i'm speaking to you i'm sitting in this chair and my thought my this is my question because now i'm loud but if i was not speaking to you i would just think okay i'll ask sister shivani this question so now i'm aware of my thought then what now one to be aware that i am creating this thought Okay I am creating this thought. But a very big illusion is the thought is coming to me because of the stimulus. You know a lot of people use this body language that thought just came to me. Oh. That thought just came to me. So which means he reminded me of that or he made me think he made me do. Oh. It is that situation just came to oh, me. The language is wrong. Yeah the vocabulary is all wrong because the belief systems are all confused inside. Oh, how very nice so you mean to say i was just hit by those feelings i was just hit by those thoughts we trying to say as if something comes from and even if i am cr- crossing the road was singing and somebody the car hit me i didn't say i don't say that i was crossing like a madman yeah oh so now okay the so thought... thoughts don't come to me huh. thoughts don't hit me feelings don't come from outside however tough the situation may be i am the creator of the thought this and the is feelings. yeah that will automatically follow but i am the creator this is first awareness the minute i understand i am the creator the blame game is over so i am aware of my thoughts the next step is then i understand that i am the creator of these thoughts and i'll say then i analyze why I waste thought this such a bad thought it's going to hurt me it disturbs me so let me improve on this so this is this is how we go is am i right absolutely clear? absolutely but you will be able to change it only once you've taken the responsibility that i am the creator my boss shouted More at me this morning responsibility sister people do not know about it they should understand responsibility will be a little harder work well people say i'm re- i'm ready to take responsibility but i never knew that no see again because the focus in life was so much outside Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so much it's attention attention is always outside and because of whatever is happening outside things were happening inside so you know what thought... i'm going to uh, uh, interrupt you remind me of one day you told me when you teach a child and uh, when the child falls and you hit the table and say ah this table is such a bad thing come on we'll beat the table so the child doesn't even rem- i mean understand that it's my mistake I'm sorry I had to interrupt because yeah, I would have forgotten true. this. It's true. It's so a belief system. So it comes system. from childhood that mommy says okay this fellow hit you ah uh, ah uh, 
So Very you're not bad. your fault. <laughs> no, Baba, you're such a nice guy. This table, you know, it's in the wrong place. Yeah. So he'll say, yeah. Yes. Other outside is doing this. Outside is doing this. Yes. Sorry, please uh, carry so this on. Is, this, is, no, this is true. Absolutely. Now I just need to understand the table was where the table was supposed to be. It was I who didn't see the table while walking. And it's I who's thinking. Yes. So and I have to understand. You know, it's like uh, my boss shouted at me this morning. I worked very hard, I was sincere, I finished everything on time, but he shouted at me. This is how he is. He just doesn't respect sincerity. He doesn't know how to appreciate and motivate his people. These thoughts are coming to me. That's what I feel. And who's responsible is my boss. And I'm justified in thinking like this. That's all. And then I say my boss needs to change. Mm. And there's gone the work of self-awareness and the inner responsibility. So if I am aware first, then I'll know that I am creating this thought towards my boss and I'm also sending such bad energy to him. And to myself. And to while sending energy to him, I'm creating so much of bad energy within me to give it to him. Yes. So it's all bad energy given, taken, I'm surrounded with that. And the energy that. that I'm creating right now, which I am getting and I'm sending to him, First, even my family around me, whom I'm sitting at home with in the evening now, is getting that energy. Because mm -hmm. I'm creating it. You know, it's like a perfume. Every thought I create is vibration. Okay, it's I'm in putting the perfume air. on myself, but yeah, the but other people can also. Yeah, going to smell it. <laughs> so, like it or not, I have to smell the perfume that you use. And that's why if we are under stress, our children are automatically experiencing the same emotions today. Oh yeah, you know what? You remind me of my dog. When I'm stressed and angry and I just open the door and come angry home, the dog, instead of greeting me, just goes in a corner and sits like this. So, there's the answer. Even it affects my dog. It does. You have to check pets at home. Such things in life and you make me realize, Sister Shivani, thank you so much. Wonderful. Now we'll just change the way we think. In, in a whole day, we're creating about 40 to 50,000 thoughts in a day. That's our creation. 40 to 50,000 thoughts a day. Poor chap must be getting tired by the evening. 25 to 30 thoughts per minute without awareness. And every time saying, this is coming to me. So you can imagine what quality of life will become. It's like you're the chairman of a company. Mm. 40 to 50,000 products in a day coming out of the factory and we're not aware of the product quality. Chaos. Chaos. Broadly, we could classify them into four to five different types of thoughts. Pure, powerful, positive thoughts, one category. Very Pure, positive. Pure, powerful, positive thoughts, one category. Absolutely clean and selfless they will be. Positive means clean, selfless. Very rare today. Selfless means uh... Probably we've forgotten the meaning also, okay. Yeah, no That's expectation attached because wherever there'll be an expectation, it will be followed by hurt. So then it's not positive anymore. Negative thoughts, resentment, hatred, criticism, That's very easy. anger. That's easy, yeah. And it comes in large numbers. Necessary thoughts, I have to do this, I have to go here. I have to meet so-and-so. But they, those are not bad, aren't they? Yeah, they're necessary. They're necessary. Neutral. Okay. They're neither positive, they're neither negative, they're neutral. Agenda. Yeah. But let's be careful that the neutral doesn't get followed by negative. Let's say, I have to go to the airport, so necessary thought. I hope there's no traffic jam on the way. I hope I reach in time. I have to reach one hour before. To... Oh, I've got to go to the airport to pick this fellow. I told him so many times that I'll send my driver, but it's so painful to go. That kind of... So neutral thought also. followed by negative thoughts. So the neutral thought will be one, but it's followed sometimes with this series of negative thoughts. And fourth type of thoughts, waste thoughts. Things which are not in my control. What is not in my control? Thinking about that which is not in my control is why waste of energy. Why and if? You mean to say why and if? Why and if? And what else? Why do the people do this? Why does this happen? If I had done this, if... Which Why means, is the other person doing so-and-so things? Yes. 
So which means... Why is it raining? Yeah, why is it raining? <laughs> which means thinking either about the moment which has passed or thinking about the moment which is still to come. Both not in my control. Past, future, both not in my control. Past, future or other person's thoughts also is a waste. And yet most of the time, yeah, even when we're thinking about other people. It Why is, does he do this? They should have done this. Why did they do this? I want them to do this. So it's either past or future. Even with the people, you put them either in the past or in the future. You don't accept them in the present moment as they are. If you just practice this for one day, if you're just aware for one day about this, you'll be shocked. In any moment, just check what you're thinking. Can and you be aware of your thoughts for one full day? Actually, I try be aware five of your minutes, thoughts sister. every five day. Five minutes, it doesn't just work. Just begin with five minutes, it works. Today, five minutes, tomorrow, 15 minutes. And day after, every time. Okay, you're saying if I am aware of my thoughts at least for a day, then what? You'll check. If I do this exercise today, or if we all do our uh, viewers. <laughs> okay, me just, and just them. check today one thing. Just stop at any moment, what am I thinking? And just see, it'll be either of something that has happened or it will be something that is still to happen. Either? We will be thinking mostly either about something that's already happened. Happened, yeah. It could be like one minute back, hmm. but it's already happened. Or we're going to think about something which still has to happen. So we're either living in the past or we're living in the future, both waste because both are not in my control. I know it so well, I still remember. I was remembering a scene which I had done in one of my films and I was driving alone and I was thinking, why did I do this? I wish I had done that. No, no, this was right, no. I had, and the scene goes on and on. Do you know what happened? I crossed my home, crossed the beach, and I was near, my home was this, and away and suddenly I realized where, where am I going? I said, I lost my house, my home. I had to take a whole U-turn, come back. We can cross our whole life. Actually, if we're like this, thinking either about the past or the future, we can cross our entire lifetime. Every time, just be aware. First is knowledge. Knowledge is very important, that I am the creator of the thought. Aware that there are these different types of thoughts. Negative, damaging. Neutral, okay. Waste damaging because it's no use at all. I'm wasting energy. How can waste, uh, waste will damage? It's waste, because it's again, waste negative, of yeah. energy. No? Yeah, yeah, and you, again, waste also gets followed by negative because the minute I go into the past, either, oh, it should have been like this or it should not have been like this. I wish those days were better or they shouldn't have said this. So the past, the waste gets followed by negative. If I go into the future, oh, when this happens, then I will be happy, which means now I'm not happy. So it's not a nice thought. Mm, now I understand when Hawaii people say, I didn't do anything today, why am I so tired? Yeah, I was sitting we've... all the day at home. If he'd gone to play a game of golf, he wouldn't have been so tired. Yes. Because, because the been... mind wouldn't have been creating so many negative and waste thoughts when the mind was uh... concentrating on something else. So much of energy depletes. You feel so tired by the 40 evening. 40 to 50,000 thoughts in a day. If they're not of the right quality, what will happen to this organization inside? On an average, a psychiatrist today will tell us that 80% of the time the mind is in the past and 15% of the time it's in the future. 95 gone. But uh, out of 80%, I don't know how, many, how much must be positive in the past also. No, there's nothing positive in the past because if it was a pleasant past, and I'm thinking about it, then I'm thinking those days were better, which means now, no. So there's nothing positive. You know, people say, oh, it's good to have nice memories. Yes, it's a memory, but it's past, it's over. Important is now what? How much people speak about their past when you meet them? You know, those oh, days. <laughs> I used to be so beautiful. There used to be men lying around me, cars following me, boys looking at me, that, 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 that. that. And um, of course, even with the men, you should have seen the salutes I used to get in the army when I was general, I was this, I was that, that. So what so are they of... feeling inside right now? That, that those were the days which were...
I got all that from everybody but today. They're, they are short of attention. They're trying to seek attention from people around them by saying this. It's so sad, no, I've heard people saying, if he had said this thing to me 10 years back, I would have killed him. Today I'm old, I'm weak, I'm this. If he had seen me in my days when I was a general, I mean, and he would have done this. Then the women also, when I was, look at, I was then, you know, were talking to the family, to the children, all the time, you're right. These are only words. You know, we say very few words compared to how much we think. 25 to 30 thoughts per minute, not 25 to 30 sentences in a minute. We wouldn't probably be using four to five sentences in a minute, but 25 to 30 thoughts in a minute. I met somebody the day before yesterday. Chance of man, now he's on dialysis. This, all the time thinking when I was a general, when I was this, when I was that. Oh, people used to salute. You know, he lost his place and he's lost his balance. Any doctor would be able to explain this to us well. Every thought has an effect on the entire system, every cell of the body. So let's be careful. And of course, it has an effect on a lot of other things in life, which we will see in the next episode. Thoughts are the most powerful source of energy that we have. Let's be careful how we use them. It's like, you know, nuclear energy. You can use it for healing mm. and you can use it to destroy the world. The energy is the same. You have your MRI, CT scans, everything with nuclear energy. And you have all the nuclear missiles ready, same energy. Even electricity, I mean, these days. Everything. Mm. Every form of energy can be used for constructive purpose also and destructive purpose also. Same with thought energy. It can give and create love, peace, purity and it can create and give to everyone around hatred, resentment, worry, anxiety. It's the same thought energy. But the wonderful part is these are my thoughts, so I have a choice. I'm still thinking about what you said just now, that every thought has an effect on my body. And if I'm going to think of thousands and thousands of thoughts in a day and millions of thoughts in a month, or or in my lifetime, what will happen to See, my body? See, most of the illnesses today, the doctors will tell us it's a psychosomatic illness. I mean, which is not. It is. Almost, I mean, which, which one is, is not. not? Which yeah. one is not? So, psychosomatic Almost. illness. Yeah. It's the effect of the psyche on the somata. That's all. The effect of the mind on the body. I don't know if it is true or not. Even, uh, I was reading the other day in some magazine, even dandruff <laughs> is because of, I believe, thinking. I, I don't even believe it, but I mean... So, heal the mind the body will follow. Of course, take care of the body, but not too much use if we take care only of the body and don't heal the mind. Thank and you. that's why people will say, I'm a strict vegetarian, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I exercise every day, and yet I had a heart attack in my 30s or 40s. That's because I took care only of the body. Mind was under stress. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sister Shivani. So I think you should, uh, help us and our viewers with a nice long meditation to teach us how to be aware of your thoughts, please. Let's just sit back, relax and really look at our mind now. Okay. And no one will come to know that you're looking. It's something that just goes on inside. Can I look somewhere here? There's nowhere to look actually. Don't have to look anywhere. There. Don't have to look anywhere. It's just something that I'm, because, because I'm going to do it the whole day. I'm going to do it while I'm walking, while I'm talking, while I'm driving, while I'm working. So be it's aware just, of my thoughts. It's just be aware of my thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> my thoughts, my creation. Something that I thought was happening automatically, but I now realize the seed is me. I am the creator of every thought and every thought has an influence on my body and on everyone around me. Let me look at my thoughts flowing beautifully in control. 
because I realize I am the master. Whatever happens around me, pleasant and not so very nice, whatever anyone might do, anyone might say, anyone might behave, I now have the key to sit back and just look at my thoughts and gradually channelize the thoughts to a different direction because I am the master, the creator. The focus moves from outside to inside because I understand now that the energy flows from inside me to everyone outside. So I'm doing everything outside but attention, what am I creating inside? Because what I create inside naturally flows outside. I'm honest with myself, honest in my thoughts, words and actions, absolute harmony. This is trust. I trust myself. I love myself. Because I am a pure being. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, viewers. See you tomorrow again. In the next episode self-awareness means just to watch my thoughts to be able to see what i'm thinking and to be aware that i am the creator of these thoughts second step is to check whether this thinking is the right kind of thinking for me third step can i change this thought we create about 25 to 30 thoughts per minute that is 40 to 50 thousand thoughts in a day one type of thoughts is pure, powerful, positive and selfless thoughts. There will be no attachments or expectations. Second type of thoughts is negative. Thoughts of ego, anger, greed, hatred, resentment, fear, rejection, criticism. Necessary thoughts are thoughts related to action, neutral thoughts. Fourth type of thoughts are waste thoughts which are thoughts about the past or the future, both not in our control. If you wish to discuss your problem or have a question to ask or want to know your nearest Raj Yoga Meditation Center, call us on 099 Shine.